In a transistor switching circuit, when should a relay be used to control a load? Describe how to test a bipolar junction transistor. A bipolar junction transistor can be tested using a DMM's diode test function. The DMM uses a small voltage to forward and reverse bias the device's PN junctions. A working bipolar transistor causes the meter to display either a forward bias voltage reading or a high resistance reading, depending on the direction of the applied voltage across the device's junctions. The circuit containing the transistor must be de-energized when testing the transistor because the DMM is only designed to measure very small currents. Larger currents produced by live circuits can easily blow the DMM's internal fuse and may permanently damage the instrument. A total of six measurements must be taken to test a transistor as shown in the table. The first measurement is taken by placing the DMM's leads across two of the transistor's terminals, for example, the base and emitter. The leads are then swapped to perform the second measurement. This procedure is then repeated for the base collector and collector-emitter terminal pairs. The base and emitter terminals have one PN junction between them. When measuring these terminals, one measurement should reverse bias the junction and the other measurement should forward bias the junction. A good transistor will display a high resistance reading when measuring in the reverse bias direction and the forward bias voltage when measuring in the forward bias direction. It does not matter if the transistor is an NPN or PNP type. Both types of transistors will display one high resistance measurement and one low voltage measurement across the base and emitter terminals if the transistor is good. If both measurements show a low voltage or high resistance, the junction is not functioning properly and the transistor should be replaced. The base and collector terminals also have one PN junction between them. The measurements across these terminals are similar to the measurements across the base and emitter terminals. For a good transistor, one measurement should be a high resistance and the other a low voltage. If both measurements show a low voltage or high resistance, the transistor should be replaced. It does not matter if the transistor is an NPN or PNP type. Both types of transistors will display one high resistance measurement and one low voltage measurement across the base and emitter terminals if the transistor is good. If both measurements show a low voltage or high resistance, the junction is not functioning properly 
and the transistor should be replaced. The base and collect The last two measurements are taken across the collector and emitter terminals. The collector and emitter terminals have two PN junctions between them. The orientation of the junctions causes one junction to be forward biased and the other reverse biased during each measurement. For a good transistor, both measurements should show a high resistance because one of the junctions is reversed biased during each measurement. If a low resistance reading is displayed, the transistor may be shorted internally and should be replaced.